back to your thousand dreams where you can discover yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this copy painting artwork. Copy painting is basically how you paint with copy powder to give an ancient look. If you have tried any of my art tutorials, don't forget to send me a picture of your artwork to my Gmail account which will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know when I post my new video. Without further ado, let's go! This is my final drawing. I recommend you to do it on watercolor paper because it is more thick and copy painting has the same consistency as watercolor paint. So now I'm going to show you how to mix your colors. So this is what you need for making your paint. You will need any coffee you are using. Then you will need three cups. I'm using these plastic mini cups to get three different tones because we want different tones like darkest, lightest and medium because we are not going to work with colors. We're only going to be using this brown shade and then you'll need a cup of water. So now you want to just take a little of the powder and add it. This will be your lightest shade. Just a little bit. For the next one, you're going to add a little more than you did before. And for the last one, you're going to add even more to get your darkest shade. Remember, the thicker the paint is, the darker the color is going to be. Now, you're going to add a little water to each paint. And then you're going to take your spoon and mix it. And you're going to continue doing this to make your other shades. And if you want to test how each color is after you're done mixing, you can check on another piece of paper. Now we're going to start our copy art painting. So as you can see, these are my three shades. So I'm going to first start with my medium and then you're going to just dip in and make some and make some leaves. Remember to keep a few white spaces and if you're not comfortable using a flat brush, you can always use a round tip brush. And after this medium color dries, we're going to add a darker color. Now we're just going to do this grassland with our flat brush. I'm going to dip into my lightest shade and just quickly brush through it. And this is how it looks after I added a second layer for my tree. We are going to continue with the other parts of the drawing in the meantime while this part dries start with the biggest house that we have. So you want to dip into your lightest shade and just go through the house. Everything. You just want to brush through the whole house the same that you did with the land or the ground. Now you just want to let this house dry and then we can add the different textures. You want to do the same for the other house. You can just go over the people playing just so that you have this nice thin layer over everything. Remember, you must first do the lightest layer and go your way 
to the darkest as well as you must first start with the background color and then you should add your layers or details on top. While this area is drying, we are going to continue by doing the trunk of this tree. So now you want to take your smallest round tip brush and dip it into your medium color. You must just remove the excess paint by rubbing the brush against the rim of the cup. So you're first going to outline your trunk and just color it in in the middle and then you are also going to draw a few branches peeking through a few leaves and now we're just going to focus on these two pine on these two trees at the back so you're going to use your lightest shade and just go or run it through like you did before and this is how it looks for the first layer of your trees now you're just going to use the same brush into your lightest shade your gates and now you're also going to take your flat brush and go into your lightest shade and paint this area now i'm going to continue doing my houses so you're going to take your darkest shade and dip your smallest rounded brush and you are going to outline the roof of the house. And then you're going to do you're going to do the dry brush technique for the bottom part of the house to give a hay look to the roof. Like that. You can even color in this window. We're going to do the same as we did for the roof to give the same hay look. Like that. And then you can take your medium color and just define the house. And after this dries, you can add a few more darker places. And you're now going to do the same as you did for this house, for the other house. And now we're going to focus on the people or the boys for now. So you're going to dip into your darkest shade and just outline the people for now. I'm going to define the woman and I'm also now going to work on the grass but first I'm just going to outline the land with the pot. And now you're going to dip into your darkest shade and first you're just going to do a rough outline for this grass area and then wherever it is close to this line that you have just drawn you're just going to quickly dab it so now you're going to do the same shading with the texture for this land but this time you're going to use your medium shade dipping from your dark shade you want to just define this plant that I've drawn earlier like this we're going to create a few more over here 
but after this cross draws now we're going to focus more on these trees so you're gonna dip into your so you're gonna dip into your darker shade and add more leaves and you also want to define a few coconuts from those trees as the long trunk you're going to continue doing this until you are happy and then I'm going to take my medium shade and I'm going to just define this area and I'm going to take my flat brush Dip it in my medium color and I'm just going to add in a few more portions. And I'm also going to define the gate in the background ahead. And now you need to just wait for it to dry so that you can add a few more details. So this is how I drew my bullet card. And now I'm just going to erase a few lines because as I said before, watercolor or copy paint can almost be see-through when shown on pencil. So I'm just going to erase it a little so that you can barely see it. And now I'm going to start painting this bullet card. So you're going to first take your lightest shade and you're just going to paint through the whole bowl or cow. Remember to wipe your brush before you paint because you don't want your paint to overflow. Just want to let it dry for a little while. So in the meantime, I'm going to do a few grass here so that it doesn't look too plain. So you're going to take your medium shade and we're going to do the same as we have done here but a little shorter so now we're going to do the same as we did for the cart for the cow like that and now we're also going to do the grass so you're going to bring your brush like this and just start brushing and this is the final artwork. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know when I post my new video. If you have tried any of my new art tutorials, don't forget to send me a picture of your artwork to my Gmail account, which will be in the description box below. Bye!